Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back or to my channel. So today we have a little first impressions video on the new one size BBB cream. So excited about this guy. Of the base BBB cream, it says that it is a beauty blur bomb, but it's also like the consistency of a BBB cream. So a BB cream, not a BB cream. This is a BBB cream. Um a lot of bees very excited to try this out I need to buy a full size of this guy I feel like the secure the blur primer is the best thing I got in the color light one so this is a light rosy undertone I'm definitely more yellowy tones so the first thing I want to see that I think is very innovating when I did my unboxing the fact that it's like in a squeezy tube but it still has like a something different like I don't know I think this is very different and new and I love that we're I love seeing new packaging like this just because like let's be real like I think everything's been made in this world now so like little things like this I'm like ooh very exciting so I have nothing on my face today um the really exciting thing is we have some pimples <laughs> so I feel like a lot of times whenever I do reviews like this people are like well your skin's like plain like how do we know if this has good coverage or not so like the second I see a breakout is when I want to run and film something so I was like oh this seems like a great day to do this <laughs> We're just gonna hop into it. Um, I don't have any primer on my skin. I did put like a little bit of moisturizer when I washed my face earlier, so I don't think I'm gonna go in with any kind of moisturizer or primer um, right now just because I feel like any kind of BB cream is like supposed to be the combination between a foundation and a moisturizer. So I feel like you don't need primer, though I really need to get a full size of the one size one. It's genuinely really good. You guys can see my face. You guys can see the pigmentation that I have all the little sun marks and lovely little pimples um so this is a 30 millimeter one fluid ounce product um i can't tell you guys what this smells like because i have this right now don't know how to pronounce that so my sense of smell and things like I, I can't smell them but i feel like this doesn't smell like anything i don't think it smells like much because i'm not getting the weird smell that i usually smell with things so I believe there's not a scent to it, but don't hold me accountable to that because, like I said, can't really smell right now. I think I'm going to do half my face. We'll do this half just because I have that guy there. And I think it'll be nice if I, I'm going to take my rings off because I can already picture this ending badly. Guys, this is the new Pandora Marble Collection. I have a whole video up, and now I want everything else in the collection. So okay, and then just my basic love ring. I'm going to put these down. I just think this pump is, like, so freaking cool. I think that's enough. So we're just going to dot it. I love this color because I feel like... It matches pretty spot on, especially with, like, the color here. Yeah, that guy needs to be concealed. I feel like that's pretty good. This color seems really spot on to my skin, huh? Like, I was shook. I'm going to put some on my eyelids because I don't prime my eyelids. I just kind of use whatever's left over a concealer. I don't have a one-size concealer. The sponge. You guys see how nicely that blends in? Like, I really feel like it, like, just, like, looking at it right there, I feel like it really blurred all this out, but you still see, like, my, my, like, moles that are, like, more pigmented that I actually like to show through. But, like, I want to zoom in just so you guys can see how insane that is. Like, obviously, it still needs to blend in. I feel like it really does the blurring process that we're, like, looking for. I really want to zoom into this forehead moment. I feel like, obviously, there's a bump. This isn't going to take the bump off, but I feel like the color-wise of it really went down. This is just one really faint quote coat, and I don't know. I definitely, I feel like you guys can definitely see the difference. Like, look at my under eyes. Like, I usually have to, like, go in with concealer minus whatever foundation, but I feel like you guys can tell how much this has blurred my skin, yet it still looks like skin. Like, I feel like I'm wearing, like, a beauty filter right now. Like, it looks really nice. And I haven't gone in with powder or anything like that concealer like it's just this and I am so shook like you guys can definitely see like under the eyes and like even over the eyes I'm like shook like I didn't think I had that bad eyelids on top but now I'm like they're not looking so hot I don't know I feel like you guys can really see that difference especially when we're up close like, I feel like the difference is definitely a tone of how nice and blurry it is yeah you guys can kind of see like with the light how it's still giving me a little bit of like a little bit of a glow like the texture is gone we are blurred we are smooth I'm literally wearing a smoothing filter right now that's what it looks like like I no longer need to go in my pictures and do that <laughs> no shame in the face tuning game I just I don't have face tune because it's not free and I refuse to pay for apps that's just a me thing but there's cheaper apps that do the same thing all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and then we'll be right back But like this 
is insane. Like this is already getting a good one from me. So here it is on both sides of my skin. Genuinely really like this and I'm surprised of how good this is. I feel like this is almost giving us everything we love in a matte foundation without being matte obviously. Like usually I feel like we'll have some separation or something but like I am shook. Like I don't even want to like do concealer. But I'm gonna go into the rest of my makeup because I love to see how this works with other products Just to see if it's a yes or no because I know sometimes something can be really good But once you use it with something else you're like, but so far I'm a fan. I'm like look she's gone. So I finished up all my makeup You'll sit with me tonight. I know it'll be been genuinely guys like it literally blended and i started to use a blush but then i was like you know what no i want to use one of the rare beauty blushes one of the hardest blushes to work with every foundation or like base so i use the color believe which is a pretty dark color i mean obviously i use like the tattest bit amount and i was like this might because i blend it with my hands i was like this might remove it but it genuinely looks really good on the skin and i put product and all this especially my nose and i genuinely really like how this foundation works so i really like it it's a yes for me so if you guys can pick this up let me know your guys' thoughts i'd love to know what you guys think about this but i genuinely really like it i feel like it looks really nice on your skin and it's very buildable and like you can pick the coverage that you want and it genuinely just like blurs everything out it's like almost like you think you have a full coverage foundation on but it feels like skin like it doesn't feel heavy on your skin which is something that i'm always looking forward to and let me know if you guys are gonna be picking this up because now i want to try more of this brand I, like I said, I was obsessed with the little sample of the primer, so now I feel like I need to go out and get a whole collection, everything from one size. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. One size if you're watching. Y'all did really good. This is really, really freaking good. I'm obsessed. So yeah, I can't wait to try out more stuff from them. Comment below any video ideas. If there's anything you guys would like me to review next, let me know, and I'll talk to you pretty faces in the next one. Bye guys.